Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in detail. Britain, time to unbundle the Nigerian contraption. The Prime Minister of Great Britain, Boris Johnson, has a choice either to make history or follow the demonizing history of his phobias for lumping Northern Nigeria and Southern Nigerian protectorates together against the people's volition in a forceful amalgamation in 1914 by Lord Frederick Lugard. The void of cathartic memories, the solemn event marked the divorce of the Union from the very beginning. Boris Johnson would be doing so either by reversing the travesty of history, should I say the tragedy of history, choreographed by his progeny, who colonized and forcibly coerced the people into a nation without identities or solidarized with the people in their current quest to extricate themselves from the shackles and manacle of northern domination. By siding with the harsh end Nigerian protest tweaking globally, it's important that the United Kingdom's Prime Minister, the Queen of England, and the entire country leadership had their voices to that of a traumatized Nigerian generation of youths, calling for an end to the marriage of convenience contracted by the British colonial masters. Boris Johnson will be healing the wound, consciously and perniciously inflicted on the dishumanized people occupying a troubled space in order to avert the coming anarchy. The Prime Minister must not be ignorant of the fact that the country he is presiding over now once played an ignoble role by viciously hobbling together diverse cultures, traditional heritage, religions, and their ancillary totems, tongues without similitude in lifestyle and social heritage or orientation. Aside, Mr. Boris holds it and obligations to stand up and be counted not only as the Prime Minister of Great Britain, alone but so much as a global leader who must not avert his gaze away from a formerly colonized nation by his country. It's evidence that General Muhammad Buhari uh, has literally empowered the Boko Haram terrorist Fulani Maraudin Hetman in his own part of the country to overrun southern part of Nigeria who are predominantly Christians. General Muhammad Buhari and his Alleluia boys have been seeking escape routes in clumping roads. They have been throwing spit into the air and collecting heat with their faces. They have been downplaying the slaughtering of innocent citizens in their thousands on the basis of religious belief, ethnocentric differences, and unremitting brutality against those calling for the dissolutions of the Nigerian state. But the Nigerian president and his minder have refused to ask themselves a subtler questions. Is unbending confrontation, castigation of patriotic citizens, or brutalizing the nation's youth more effective in achieving the desired changes in people? Changes the people are clamoring for. Each time I point out the figures of Boko Haram insurgents, Fulani Etman terrorists, and the dreaded bandit. Victims operating in the northern part of the countries, the first instinct is usually to question the anecdotal evidence and reject the credibility of the data. The global community is aware that General Muhammad Buhari, the presidency, as a matter of official policy, has legitimized falsehood. As I write, one twelfth of Castina State citizens, General Muhammad Buhari's home state, are in high DP's camp, dislodged by Boko Haram terrorists, yet Buhari is releasing the arrested Boko Haram terrorists back to the society in the name of repentance. He even released funds for their foreign education, strategies that encourage Northern youths to be enlisted into Boko Haram terrorist group. The Prime Minister should spare a thought about the Great Britain being forcefully yoked together in an own wholesome amalgamation between Great Britain, Germany, France, England of different nationalities being one country. 
I know it will be in hotter horror for the Prime Minister to subscribe to such banner rape of social existence and violations of the Code of Human Cohabitation. The Great Britain did just that by lumping together Igbos, Yoruba, Agusas, Edos, Efik, and the over 500 odd other ethnic nationalities in one country. The British government ensured in the late 1960s that the attempt of the Higbos to break away and forge their own destiny was thwarted. If homogeneity and self-preservation is not important, the British would not have voted in the Brexit standoff for its independence and economic separations from the rest of the European countries. The Nigerian youth have come to the realization that Nigeria needs to hold a own Vienna conference to settle the matters of real nationalities and national boundaries. Nigerians are now awake to reset and reshape our dysfunctional political structure inherited from the British colonial masters and do away with the insane and midnight bet of Nigerians' amalgamation in 1914. Mr. Boris, Barry, Boris Johnson, Mr. Boris Johnson has been put on notice by these reminders that the amalgamation document Lord Frederick Lugard signed on January 1st, 1914 as the governor of both the Northern Nigerian Protectorate and the Colony and Protectorate of Southern Nigeria, consolidating the two countries as one. Following by declarations of Nigeria as an independent state, 46 years later, in 1960, has expired since 2014. The harsh answers and harsh end Nigerian protest a spontaneous revolutionary movement. Presently, conversing General Muhammad Buhari's presidency to its foundation, the British government has a choice to either rewrite or reinvent a own Czech history of romantizing with banality and the deliberate asphyxiations of the Nigerian people or remains totally impervious to a pervidious preoccupations of letting humanity, humanity down. Wow, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? You know, many people were actually saying that uh, it's the way to go right and time is of essence for Nigeria because nothing can work in this country or suspicious and distrust, selfish, prerogative, deliberate, lopsidedness of key government appointments to one to just one ethnic groups and consolidation. May God help us. A lot of things is happening. You know, we, you know, I want to believe that uh, one of the people that cause problem in this society in Nigeria is these British people. These people, these British people, the Britons, are the one as one are one of our number one problem that we have in the country. And people were saying that you will soon realize that you are dealing with sophisticated and highly educated southerners. Those of you who are related to cows and with cow brain, I will soon relocate to Niger and Shad, where your cow's brain can govern your own sovereignty. How can they create a country? Are they God? Full and man don't know the rules of law and have a regard of human life. Why should we live together as one? The fact is that... Uh, I want to believe that these Fulani people, they are not part of us at all. They are not part of us. Because the way they do, the way they behave their own stuff is totally different from our own. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your take? Can you drop your comment at the comment section below? For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news. And it's many day. Thank you so much for always being there for us at all time. God bless you. Stay safe at this crucial time. That is very important to you and me. Have a lovely day. Bye.